this is Dave with NAPCO Tech Support. In this video, I will be covering how to use the ALPCI2U cable to download a program to your locks. I will also cover how to retrieve a log from your lock. Feel free to pause the video at any time if it makes it easier to follow along. Before we get to downloading to the lock, I would like to restate in this video that it is very important that you install the driver for the ALPCI2U cable first before plugging it in. The driver can be found in the folder you downloaded to install DL Windows. The folder is named ALPCI2U underscore CP210X underscore Windows underscore Drivers. The file named CP210X VCP Installer underscore x64 is the file you will run to install the driver. After the driver is installed, plug the ALPCI2U cable into your PC. Next, in your DL Windows software, click Tools, then choose the option Comport Setup and Test. When the window pops up, select the COM port on the left and click Test. When the test completes, it should read Loopback Test Passed, COM port set to, and the port number you selected. After it is passed, click the Set button. If this test fails, please see our video for troubleshooting DL Windows connection issues. Before I continue, I would like to mention an important side note. When you do your loopback test, make sure the cable is not plugged into the lock. If the cable is plugged into the lock when you do your loopback test, it will fail. I covered assigning pin holders and card holders to the locks in the previous video, but for the sake of thoroughness, I will briefly explain it again. After you have created your pin holder or card holder, on the left, you must first set their state for a lock before any changes can take place. For example, if you wish for them to be active in the lock, you will first select the pin or card you wish to set on the left, and then double click on the lock to the right until the lock turns green. If you wish for them to be in the locks list but disabled, then you would double click on them until the lock is red. Finally, if you wish to exclude them from the lock completely, then you will click on the lock until it is clear. After you have set how you wish your pin or card holders to behave with the locks, then you can begin to download the information to the locks. First, plug your ALPCI2U cable into the lock. Remember, the tab on the plug goes on the same side as the black port, so it's always going to point to the left. Next, you will enter programming mode on your lock by pressing your master code and then the alarm lock button. In my case, my master code is the default of 123456, so I will press 123456A. You will hear the unique 8-beep combination letting you know you have entered program mode. If you are unsure if you have entered programming mode, just wait a few seconds and listen if the lock makes a beep every few seconds. If it does, then you are in program mode. After you have entered program mode, hit A58 star to put your lock into PC download mode. After hitting A58 star, select the lock you wish to download to, click communication, then send to lock. A window will pop up asking what you wish to send to the lock. I will just choose the option to send all and click start. Don't take too long to do this. 
you only have a short amount of time. When your download completes, you should get a list of green check marks showing you what parts of your download completed. When you are finished, hold down the star key for five seconds to make sure the lock comes out of programming. Receiving a log from a lock is mostly the same as downloading to the lock. You plug the cable in, then enter programming, hit A58 star once in programming to activate PC download, and then in your DL windows, you will select the lock you wish to receive a log from, and choose the option Receive from Lock. Next, choose the option for Event Log, and then click Start. When it finishes, the event log will pop up on the screen. You can now unplug your cable from your lock and hold down the star key for five seconds to come out of program. Now that log will remain until you pull another log from the lock. So if you close your log window and then click on the log button up at the top, you will see the same log. Remember, this window is not real time. It will only display the last log you pulled from your lock. So if you need to update it, you must pull a new log from the lock. As a little bonus, I would like to show you how you can make this process just a little faster. If you click on Global up at the top, and then click on Administrative Users in the bottom right-hand corner of the Global window, this will bring up your Administrative Users list. Towards the bottom of the list, you will notice a slot for PC Download. You can assign a code here that you can use to trigger the PC Download, instead of having to go into Programming and hitting A58 star every time you wish to make a change. So I will add a code here in PC Download and I will make it 1964. I must first download this change into my lock before I can start using this code. So for the first time, after making this change, I must do the master code and A to get into programming. And then A58 star to enable PC download. But after I download that to my lock, then all I have to do in the future is press my code of 1964 to send a program to my lock. Remember, as always, if you need documentation for any alarm lock or NAPCO devices, or if you want to find more videos like these, head on over to our technical library at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you.